Hi everyone, so it is seven sleeps till Christmas, which means it's time for some festive treats. I've worked out baking is not my strong point, so I found like an easy thing to do. I'm gonna make some mince pies. Mmm, I don't like mince pies, but Ash does, don't you? I love mince pies, yeah. so I'm really excited for the results of this. But if it works, it means I can do it with apple pies, and I like apple pies. So I bought some um, just roll short crust pastry because um, why make pastry when you can buy it and just roll it? It's definitely one of those things that the package version is going to be way better than whatever we can make. Well, so we're just going to use it. So I have to, oh, I should probably read it. Unroll the pastry sheet and bake it. That can't be that hard. What could go wrong? So I need to unroll it. Don't tempt fate like that. Ooh, I'm scared it's going to crack so we get close to the centre. Okay. Did you get my nails in there? But it smells really buttery. I know it's short crust and that is basically butter, but... Nailed it! If we don't even have to roll this, it's going to be very quick. Yeah, I know, right? Well, yeah, well, we'll see how where I can go wrong. Okay, so um, I've got a... Are you sure you don't need to roll it out a bit thinner than that? I mean, it's quite thick. Look no, at it isn't. It. it is, look at that. For short crust pastry. I can roll it out if you so wish. We'll roll it for a bit. What does it say? Apparently is fine. You just mm. unroll the sheet and then it's all good. We'll do it because then it looks like I've tried. Well, in that case, I'm just going to take issue with their brand name. It's called Just Roll. Yeah, but you un just unroll it. Not yeah, so just call it Just Unroll. But then that might be... We're ready to use. They're implying that all we have to do is roll it. And if we don't have to roll it, then the name's wrong. I will roll it just for so it looks like I've done more and I can say that these are more homemade than they probably will end up being. We could have made our own mints as well, but like... We decided to buy some. Marks and Spencer did it for us. Basically, we would have just been okay buying it as is, but it's a little bit more rustic. So I bought loads of pie cutters. Um, and I've got my little pie casing thing. Do I need to... No, because I wouldn't need to butter this because it's already like covered in butter um but i need to pick the right size do we want to have it like a little like jiggly edge or do Scalloped we want edge yeah or just a plain and then well we can... how much of a lid are we doing are we doing a lid to the edge and then a star on the top or are we doing just a, a what just a star on the top we're doing a what a lid well, a lid a lid for the pie are we putting a lid all the way across the pie or are we doing them like the waitrose one where it's just a star, just of a the star on the top okay yeah so, then probably not a scalloped edge. Okay. That would look a bit weird. So I'm guessing I need to find the right size for the not that one. This one. Well, it would need to be a bit bigger, I would have thought. Okay. So maybe this one. No, I don't know actually. I don't know how it works. I've never made pies no, before. Me neither. I think that's a good shout. Maybe. Maybe a bit bigger because we don't. We need to go up over the edges, don't we? We kind of need to fill the bottom as well. Because if it bubbles. This one. Yeah. That yeah. Looks, yeah, that looks about okay. right. Let's do that one that? then. Okay, yeah. so I need to make 12. We're not going to get 12 out of that sheet. Well, we might. But then we won't have any left for stars. Yeah, let's just get as many pies out as we can. I just want this one to start with. It's not big enough. Mm? It's not big. Is that... Do you want it bigger than that? Um... I don't know. My gut says a little bit bigger. Right, let's put this back. <laughs> just gonna... I mean, does this kind of pastry expand? I don't know. It doesn't say. We're just going to fix it. Like, it never... But you better roll it properly. Otherwise that part's all going to be... That's going to fall apart. Or up? I'm starting to think maybe that jar of mince meat won't be enough. Well, do we want to start putting spoonfuls in the ones we've already done? Yeah. Now that we've done shot. six, so that we can see how many <laughs> we've got. Otherwise, we're going to make all these pastry cases and have nothing to put in them. Well, I'm sure we could find something in the cupboards. Yeah, we'll find some nice things. 
So we're going to put in some luxury mince meat. Apparently it doesn't have any mince in, which I've always had the preconception that it had like beef in it. It does not. It's <laughs> like, uh, I can't really remember what it is. It's oh, like suet, candied orange horrible. and spices and... It's got, what's suet? Did you say suet? I thought so. Sultanas, apple puree, currants, cherries, brandy and pork. No suet. Maybe I'm wrong on that one. Yeah, that would be really gross. It's I like, think someone told me that once, and I told them that they were like wrong. It's like cheap stomach suet, isn't it? No, no, that's tripe. Okay, so I'm going to put a scoop in. If the spoon fits, it does not fit. Well, that was a good idea. I'll get a normal spoon. <laughs> Smells amazing. It doesn't. It's got rice in it, it looks like. I had one of these when we went to the John Rose evening, didn't we? You did. So we're going to use a star. So let's pick the right size. I think this one might be too big. Yeah. That one below. Yes, look at that. Perfect. But I should hopefully be able to. We shall not be doing this again, I'll just be buying them. We do have some, some of these are really different thicknesses. <laughs> oh well. It's probably a good idea we didn't go too ambitious and make our own pastry. Yeah, considering I'm struggling with rolling it. How do I not count six? <laughs> so these are our six mince pies we've got so far. Um, Ash is just going to have a go and see if he can make another one out of this one. And his will be here, so keep an eye out for it. <laughs> Your eyes aren't going squiffy, I just am not very good at filming. <laughs> Did you manage to do it? Yeah. It doesn't take very long either. Hey, stream mask. Can you get another one, do you think? I might be able to, actually. Or we can just have one without a star. Very thick star, though. <laughs> I tried! I know, that wasn't a criticism. It was. It wasn't a criticism. So you can make a mini one, maybe. No, I think I could get a full-size one and a star out of this. Oh, okay, that'd be cool. It just might be a bit thinner than the others, so it might fall apart, but... Or it might be better, because they might have actually needed to be that thin. Who knows? We'll find out. It's a fun experiment. Yeah, definitely not. Now the cabinet's in focus. And there we go! <laughs> no, I'm just going to keep it on your face for a bit, otherwise we're not going to get anything. Let's down. Nailed it. <laughs> I'm keeping all of this in. Can you get another star? Oh, absolutely. Make it like a. Oh, could you make it like a double star, like a star within a star? Yeah. So like, do a big star and then do one of the smaller ones and put it on top. So it's like layered. Okay, so we did get one last one out of them, so we got nine total. This one's got a nice pattern on it. And one doesn't have a lid. Well, but hey, it wants to use up the pastry and use up some of the mince meat. So. Can't yeah. argue with that. So. We're kind of on the last few stages now, I guess. Yeah, it was, didn't take like a billion hours like all of other baking ever does. So I'm going to give it a little um, eggy wash to... What does that do? It means that it browns nicely. It gets it, gets it more golden brown. Am I doing that the, like egg white and... Yeah, if you just grab a fork, mix it in, and then just give it a quick base. Not like so it's dripping, but just a quick splash across the top, really. Right, so I'm going to put my little um, brush in the egg. And just a splash in across the top. Oh, Make it go nice golden brown. So there's no time frame to cook them in, so we're just going to keep an eye on them and cook them to their golden brown. I say start at 10 minutes and then go from there. Yeah? Well, we'll check them like every five or so. We'll check them every five. Right, in they go. In the oven with no light. Should I put them on the middle shelf here? Yeah. Bye. Turn up yummy. Well, that was relatively painless-ish. Yeah, that was fine. So we're going to cook those, and then when they come out, we're going to dust them, and it's going to be super Christmassy, and our house is going to smell like spices, and mm, I didn't actually realise like how easy they are to make. I know we did just get pastry and that like, mincemeat, but hopefully they'll look homemade. Yeah, but this is like awesome and festive, and we have homemade mince pies, and it didn't take us very long. I mean, we're at what, like half an hour? 
And that was from me yeah, stopping that. and not really understanding what I was doing and not doing a very good job of rolling pastry. So, really, you're doing okay. You're doing okay. So, we'll leave those in there for five minutes, start with, and we'll keep checking them. And then we'll show you what they look like when they come out, as long as they're not Ben. <laughs> Otherwise, this is where the video will end. It'll be like, make mince pies! And see. <laughs> yeah, done. Okay. See you in a little bit. Bye! Turn out good. Alright, so we're getting them out of the oven. I think they're done. I think they look fairly done. It's just that um, I don't want to get a soggy bottom. They've gone quite golden brown on the top. Mm. Right, we'll get a soggy bottom, show that for a bit longer. I gave them just a couple of minutes longer, um, they look a lot better. So I'm going to try and get them out now. I've managed it with one, so in theory they should be fine. <laughs> in theory. But they're still quite movable. You know, it's a nice new non-stick pan, so hopefully they wouldn't have uh, got too stuck. I don't know why I think things are so easy or why I keep continuously trying baking because it just isn't working. <laughs> I mean these ones look alright once we've covered them in some icing sugar. I like this one, it looks like a Christmas tree on top. Yeah, we're going to have six pretty good mince pies, one open tart and one collapsed one. That we can just eat? Yeah. I need to have mine plain or with custard? Yeah, we'll have neither of these things. Well, we're plain. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, none of them got a soggy bottom, which is good. Well, apart from this one, but that's because it broke in the middle and the bottom's now leaking. It's fine. It's a first attempt. I've never made mince pies before. I know we didn't really make these. We just kind of put the ingredients together. But that's really what making stuff is, isn't it? We just assembled them. We've made worse. We definitely have. We've made <laughs> things that turned out way worse than this. So the these have turned out pretty successful. Yay! I feel super Christmassy, and our house smells really Christmassy. So yeah, I'm really excited. You're going to try these in a minute, I see. Do you want yep. one that's still slightly warm? Uh, I'm going to eat some of the squash one while it's still slightly warm, and then I'm going to take photos of all the rest of them. Well, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you're making some lovely festive treats, and I hope you're enjoying the Christmas period. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Say bye. 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 Mmm. <laughs> that looks like a Christmas tree. We should put a little like star on top. Hi everyone, so today is December 1st and I thought what well, better way to enjoy the festive season than putting up my brand new Christmas tree. Ooh, ooh. So this arrived yesterday from John Lewis. I got a seven foot tree, because before we only had like a not seven foot tree. And I got a tree skirt, which I fit in. I hope, but I would, yeah obviously, it's a tree.